rivalry game? And, and how do you approach that trying to carry it over a full year? Well, I mean, I, th I don't think it's just just a rivalry game, but I think we, we played well against a really good defense. And I think that's the biggest thing that a lot of guys took away. Um, but, I mean, and not to be negative, but there was a lot of stuff that, you know, we could have cleaned up and, and been, been even better at. So uh, um, definitely a lot of positives from the game, but definitely some things that, you know, we left out there and, uh, you know, we can get better at. Jake, we talked to some of your SEC championship game because you're, you know, going this week. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, that's one thing that's kind of, you know, you look at it and you can get, bring out a positive of practicing, practicing this week. Um, and like you said, I mean, our, our goal was to be in Atlanta and we're not there. So that's one thing we got to continue to strive for and work for. Um, but it is unique to be practicing on this week. And um, that's one thing that coach has said. And when, when we reach our goal, this will be the week that we're practicing on. Jake, what kind of opportunity thing are you guys focused on that this week? Um, I think the biggest things that, that Coach trusts to us is it's our last time playing at williams Bryce Stadium this year. Um, it's the last time for our seniors to be ever play here. Um, obviously, we had senior night, but because of the season, you know, whatever. But, uh, you know, it's our last time. And, and do whatever we can to win this game for them and, and to send them out with the win um, on our home field. And uh, like you said, it's, it's – uh, you know, we're trying not to look at bowl game or whatever, we're trying to focus on this. But I, mean, I think in the back of your mind, you think about that. Another win probably help us out there. But, um, you know, really just a, the main mindset is just, just doing whatever we can to prepare this week for Akron and, and for our seniors to send them off the right way. As the season winds down, can you just talk to the influence? Offense, I guess, the last four weeks. And, you know, what have you seen schematically that's made you and, and the rest of the offense so successful? Yeah. Um, you know, I think we're all just making plays. I think that's uh, the one thing that, you know, you, you see as guys, you know, making plays and, and making throws that, you know, maybe we we didn't make earlier in the season. And um, I think, you know, each and every game, it's just it's about our execution. You know, I, we won't play great defenses. I mean, that's just the way it is. We, we got to be able to execute. And I just think we've done that better the last few weeks. Um, I don't think anyone's made any drastic change or – anything like that. I think it's just a matter of execution, guys. Guys were tired of not executing the way we knew we could. And um, I think everyone just came together and, and realized what we needed to do, and it's paid off for us. Kyle mentioned that. Jake, it is that time of year. Have you submitted paperwork to the NFL to judge your draft status? I haven't. Will you? Off the, <laughs> off the. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just trying to beat Akron right now and uh, see where we go for the bowl game. But there's still a lot that that I personally and, and that we as a team haven't accomplished yet. So, um, we set a record-setting performance: 510 yards, five touchdowns. How does that feel during the game? Are you like in a zone? Is everything like working? I guess kind of walk us through how you felt, you know, mm -hmm. doing that against <coughs> a, a good defense. Yeah, I mean, I think. You know, everyone sees what happens on Saturday, and it's all great that you know we we did well on offense. But I think it goes back to practice. I mean, the scout team gave us, gave us a great look, um, and you know, all week the guys were running hard, um, and it, it pays off on Saturday. And it was easy for me. I just had to get the ball to the to the guys that were open. I mean, they Debo and Brian and Shy and Keo, all of them did a great job with just finding ways to get open and making plays. So. Um, but yeah, I mean, you definitely feel it. You definitely, you know, feel it during the game, and you, you feel like, you know, you know you're hot. You know the offense is clicking. You just want to keep it rolling. Um, I think that's why it was frustrating to get down there so close and not score. Um, and that's one thing that we've looked at, and uh, I think we've we've got a, a few new plays here and there that's going to help us out uh, down there tight. And how is the chemistry between you and BMAC formed over these last few weeks as you, as offenses continue mm -hmm. to produce numbers? Yeah, I mean, that's that's one thing that's you know continued to grow since the bowl game last year. Um, and, and we talk all the time about just offensive scheme and, and what we're thinking. Um, you, know, he, you know, he obviously does a game plan for us, but he expects me to, to, to watch as much as I can and have a plan for what I like too. And we sit down on Fridays and go through all that, every situation, all the you know, different formations of what I like, what he likes. And uh, I think that's just really helped, um, especially the last few weeks.